Hey everybody, it's John, back with another episode. Beautiful, ridiculously beautiful day. Over 50 degrees, 55, flannel shirt, a little bit of sunshine. We're working a little bit on some projects today. We're working on getting better shooting lanes while all the, the leaves are off and we can see better our paths. We'll work on some shooting lanes and I figured while I was doing that, why don't I talk about my 2023 plans for the farm and the orchard. Goal number one, for the year is to get better shooting lanes for the new shooting houses we put up and we're going to build the habitat around that. We're going to talk a little bit about switchgrass, what we're going to do for food plots this year. We'll get into that in some later episodes but we're definitely going to improve around the two new shooting houses that we built to build those to be very attractive spots for deer during the season. Interesting. Took down a little buck rub. Pretty cool. Number two, uh, we'll talk about projects around the farmhouse where we kind of use as a cabin. Uh, number one thing, we got to improve the fire. Fireplace is a disaster uh, as far as outside fires, it's just concrete block. I've burnt all sorts of junk in that and I'm going to get rid of that junk and we're going to build a pretty sweet fire fire pit. So that's the goal there. Number two, we're going to get ourselves a deer pole, a hanging pole so we can hang those deer when it's cold out. Hang those. We don't have to get them to the processor immediately. Uh, we'd like to have a deer pole so we can hang them, clean them more easily, maybe even skin them if, if need be. So that's the plans for around the farmhouse. So plans for the orchard. Well, number one, we got to figure out weevils. And uh, that's definitely going to involve a water bath. And then we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do anything about spraying. So the biggest plan for them is getting the weevil problem sorted out. Never know what you're going to find in the woods. Dead buck. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Antlers all chewed on. Looks like it was a tight eight point. I don't think I've ever seen that buck before. I'll have to look at all my cameras, see if I can figure out who that is. Pretty bleached, bleached out antlers, definitely more than a year old. Looking a little closer at this buck's uh, skull that I found. You see how sharp that is, that texture? It's pretty white. It doesn't really come across in the film quite as white as it actually is but I'm gonna say this buck died in velvet because he is so I mean he was probably close to velvet coming off but that is I've never seen it so crisp I'm gonna say he died in velvet and that's why it's been chewed on so much and there's no visible wound here and his body was nowhere near I never found his body so not sure what what caused his death but I'm gonna say it was before season uh, because they shed about a week a month before any season is open here and he has not done any rubbing so I'm gonna say he was in velvet but close to shedding and going hard antler as far as the pond my goal is to improve fish habitat and improve the types of fish that are in there uh, we have a dog walking by Izzy don't walk on that one. As far as the pond, we're looking for improved habitat. We're going to set it up so that we have some water irises for some beauty. We're going to set up these pine trees, Christmas trees for some fish habitat. We put block in there, stone, rock, and uh, we're going to do that. We're going to improve the riprap uh, on the overflow, although we got it decent there, and come up with our third and final emergency contingency, uh, which is putting some riprap down. Uh, at the lowest spot uh, so that you don't lose the whole dam if the uh, agri drain fails and then the 10 inch uh, overflow pipe doesn't work well then we'll have plan c and if that don't work 
I guess we'll just have to deal with that. But I think three contingency plans should be enough. Well, that's our major goals for the farm this year. Improving shooting lanes out of the new shooting houses. Talk a little more about food plots in future episodes. Number two, orchard stuff. Main issue this year is weevils. We will plant some more trees, but we want to get the weevils out of there and control those. And number three, improve pond habitat. That's going to be through the trees that you saw. And then we're going to add largemouth bass this spring, which is exciting. Adding to our fathead minnows, our bluegills, and the perch that you recently saw us adding. So that's our major goals this year. We'll get back to looking at some chestnut seeds in the next couple months. We'll be putting some in the dirt and starting them inside and we'll grow a lot outdoors too. Hopefully your seeds are nice and comfy in their nice little cool home getting stratified. That's about all I have to say for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Like and comment. That always helps us. We'll see you on the next one. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying.